hello spicy family welcome back to my channel guys today on this beautiful friday guys i am here to tell you just a little bit about michelle lay the spicy queen guys i am 53 years old i am a recovering functioning alcoholic of two years guys two freaking years oh my god the time has went by so fast I have built this channel. Um, I started this new channel, what, seven months ago, and I'm on a whole new avenue with this. Um, I had started a YouTube channel with my husband back in 2016, but he passed away in 2018, and then I had stopped doing YouTube, and I said, you know, I want to start doing this again, and um, uh, I want to transfer my old channel over to a, uh, I forgot what, a brand account. So I tried to do that. And it says transfer it over to a brand account, brand account. So I put it in the, everything in the brand account. And the next thing you know, it said click the button. So I clicked the button. I waited for a minute before I clicked the button. I clicked the button and everything said gone. I had over like 600 videos, all that good stuff. I mean, I had, you know, the channel was had everything on it, you know, everything. So, but it's gone now. So I decided I'm going to start a new and fresh youtube channel from the bottom all the way up from zero up until now which i have 300 and um i don't know 74 74 subscribers 374. so i'm excited about that and um what else about me oh um i did say i was 53 with three grandchildren right 53 with three beautiful grand girls i have a daughter who's 34 my grandchildren are 13, 10, and 5. And I'm telling you, they give me a run for my money, and I just love it. Uh, what else? Uh, I work full-time, but right now I'm working part-time because I hurt, my, I hurt my knee at work. I kind of fell at work. So right now I'm just working part-time, which um, I can get caught up in some of my videos because when I was working full-time, I can hardly get my videos in because it's hard work. You guys know YouTube is hard work. You know, it's a lot of prepping, preparing, just a lot of stuff. So, and what else about me, Uh Hmm, I, um, I love family. I love to be around my family. Um, uh, my mother passed away 2021. So two of my best friends who I just adored, my mother and my father, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> my mother and my husband passed away. Uh, and so I, I really got along well with my mom. I hope you guys get along well with your moms because, you know, without your mothers, I'm telling you, it's it's devastating. You know what I'm saying? So what else about me? Uh, and I love to cook. I use cooking as my tool for my sobriety. It helps me to stay focused and it just lets me relieve energy. Uh, it helps me, you know, share some of the foods I learned from my grandmother and my mother. Sometimes you guys see me putting in some grease and stuff. You're like, probably like, oh, why is she putting all that grease in the food? Child, when I used to watch my mom and them cook all that grease and stuff, they used to have a can of Crisco on the stove that said Crisco on it. And I used to wonder, what is in that, that blue can? It was a blue can with Crisco on it. It was that chicken grease. Let me tell you, that chicken grease pork chops anything they fried in that grease they would reuse that grease and reuse that grease guys that was the best chicken grease anything she they fried was so good because the grease was seasoned and it was it was oh my god guys to die for so i took up that trade i used grease they, that cooking grease on every freaking thing sometimes i go way overboard and i need to stop you know just holler in the comments and say stop using the grease michelle and I, Hey, you gotta catch me. Anyhow, um, they they had a lot of recipes that they, you know, not let me get it right. They didn't have recipes that they used. They just cooked. They just like my grandmother. I would see her with a whole chicken, and she would cut that chicken up, and she would fry that whole chicken in the littlest cast iron skillet that you could ever think of and not spill one lick of one of them out of that skillet. And I was like, oh my God, I, how do you do that, Grandma? How do you keep all the chicken in the skillet like that without falling out? She said, baby, that's just how Grandma do it now. I'm like, okay, well, I studied, studied, studied her until I finally got it right. Because when I first started doing chicken, it was flying everywhere, grease the caught the stove on fire. I was like, Lord have mercy, how does this lady do this? Then I watched my mom cook, 
Um, you know, everybody, a lot of people in my family are just kitchen cooks, kitchen cooks, right? You know, so anyhow, well, I'm here. I'm on this YouTube journey and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of everyone who has been supportive to my channel. Uh, I love everybody's channel. Sometimes I can't get to your um, videos, but when I do, I'll shoot them at work and watch them, but I don't have time to, you know, comment on them, but I'll go back and comment, you know, because I want to support you just like you support me, you know? We have to support each other in this family, right? So I have several people who crossed over with me to this new channel and another channel and another channel and like a hundred channels until I'm, I'm getting it right, okay? Just bear with you, girl, okay? I'm trying, I'm trying, seriously. But anyhow, I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know it's me, Michelle A, um, and I'm enjoying my life, uh, sober and happy. That's what I'm doing. So. You guys, uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and um, all I got to say is love, peace, and happiness. Smooches! <laughs>